Hi guys, my name's is Blastoff and this is part 2 of Mission 3 on the sword base and we are still perusing and the carousing. <laughs> do I want the armor lock? Yes I do. So, I don't know if you guys do this as well, you'll see me do it in a minute. Basically, <laughs> when I've got the armor lock on, I always think I've got sprint on because I'm so used to sprinting in games. So, I always use that button for sprint and I keep just doing the armor lock randomly. So. If you do see me do that, it's because I think it's the sprint button. But of course it's not like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just had a little thought. I was like, oh, do you know what would be really, really awesome? Unlimited grenades in campaign. It would make my life so much easier. Just constantly chucking them things. I mean, they do drop quite a lot. And this is only on normal, really, so... It's not like I really, really need them. I'm playing it on Legendary as well, but I'm playing it co-op, so I'm not really going to record that. But... I do prefer it on a harder setting. I just... However, I hadn't played Halo in so long, I decided to do it on normal first. And I'm really trying to get good at the sniper's bonus, but... I think I've failed miserably. Okay, so, we've got the hunters here, and I was trying to use the armor lock for its actual purpose, hence me equipping it, but I don't know if I'm straying too well or not. I find out when I get to this point that I run out of ammo quite easily, so, um, yeah, it becomes very difficult, well, not really, but just means I've got to steal my uh, buddy's guns. And they don't really like giving it to me, to be honest. So if any of you guys are a big fan of the shotgun in Halo, it's definitely a close quarters weapon. Even at medium range, it's pretty awful. So uh, bear that in mind. And if you want to kill these hunters, you just aim for the little orange bit. You've got to get rid of their shell, per se, and then uh, shoot them in the flesh. But if you had the sniper like I did earlier, you could just shoot them in the head a couple of times and they go down. And obviously a plasma grenade would be nice. Or where the little orange uh, blood comes out. I got orange blood. So he's been drinking too much Tropicana. <laughs> you can see that disco forklift there. He's doing some breakdancing. Come on, cat, give me a gun. Ah, uh, you tight bitch. So once again, this is another 15-minute um, video. To mark the end of mission three. She set up her own ass, so she doesn't even look at me when she's in the elevator. How rude is that? I doubt that very much. So do I. As you could see there, my health was in the red, but as long as you got more than four bars either side, it will regenerate back to full health. It's quite useful. So just try not to get too low. And as I said in the last video, I was just trying to rush through this bit. 
just taking out anyone that's sort of in my way. If that means ripping a grunt's head off, then so be it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Once you um, rejoin with your team up here, it means you're able to equip them in firefight mode, which is quite handy. I've not played firefight yet on uh, Reach. But I might do it as one of the daily challenges for multiplayer when I uh, get around to it. Come on, sexy comrades, let's go. So I'm just scouring for some army mission or something. Pick up one of the worst guns in the game. Oh, okay, it's not the worst. One of my personal favourites. Sure, okay. Sure, okay. There's nothing you could do about it anyway, look. Your blue shield can be broken. Now, as soon as I ran up here, I was like, wow, this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> Retreat. Send in George. Use a massive machine gun. Okay, so you get yourself a little grenade launcher here, which I actually found miserably with. When I did this on my first try, I think I took it down with one hit. For some reason, I was being a flamidoide. Flamidoide? Yes. <laughs> and uh, it took me about 800 hits. <laughs> what you're supposed to do is actually wait till it locks on. So learn from my mistakes and do not do this. You end up wasting a lot of ammunition this way, and a lot of time. So when the uh, target locks on, like you saw there, that's when you must fire. You know, sometimes your brain just does the opposite of what you want it to. I know how to kill it, I just didn't do it. I guess I was trying to rush through it. What do you mean, yeah, I just shot you in the face. But yeah, this concludes pretty much the end of part two of Mission 3. I'll let you guys watch the cutscene, and yeah, see you in the next part, or mission. Woohoo! Beautiful, ain't it? Someone should take a picture. Nice work, by the way. I aim to please. Five, six, get down to the science wing. Dr. Halsey wants a debrief and command saying we're all hers. Repeat. Sounded like you said Halsey. I did. 
Copy that on our way. Don't need command to tell me. Been all hers half my life. I requested your assistance, Commander, and do not need a report on events that occur on my own doorstep. What I do require is a detailed engagement. George, it's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. Visegrad Relay. Its data center was home to one of my Xeno archaeologists, Professor Laszlo Sorvad. Perhaps you could shed some light on his death. If he was a civilian male in his mid-sixties, he died with a Covenant energy sword through his abdomen. Elites, then. They engaged us as well. It was just, uh, just after we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the air. Irrelevant. Uh... The elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of him. Zealots. You're certain? Their armor configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class. No doubt they came to the station for the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend to. Like warning the planet. Professor Sorvad's final entry in his field notes made reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole contains it. Cat? Before you ask, I was alerted the moment you attempted to access its contents, as I am with any unauthorized tap. That data is classified Tier 1. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive. Winter contingency? I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. Mom? That will be all, George. <laughs>